All right, dear viewers, we have a long row of tomatoes to trellis. Whew, I have a, a, a very big <laughs> roll of twine. Hopefully it'll be enough. There it is, the long row. Come join me. All right, so I've got my length of twine here all ready and measured out. And I need to just make more lengths of it setting up a little more stable there. If I can figure out where my end is, there we go. So I'm gonna pair them, pull them through. When I get to the end, bend it and cut. and then do it again and again. <laughs> My uh, twine got caught on the uh, tripod. Woohoo! Let's see if I can avoid that again. Oh no. I do not want that out. So I do just a couple of these at a time because it's uh, nice and shady over here. So it's nice to come back <laughs> every once in a while. And then ultimately I leave one behind. So I know how long to make the next group. Come on, let's go hang these. All right, so I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna tie a loop around the base of the tomato with a regular double knot. And then I'm gonna twist it around the leader, central leader. And then I'm gonna tie it to the top crossbar. I'll show you. <laughs> Come back here. Oh. All right, there's one. Let me give you a close up. All right, I'm going to tie my loop. Not too tight. Double knot. That. Now I'm going to basically just wrap a little gentle spiral around the central leader. And tie it off. And then essentially I'm doing a double knot at the top, but I'm leaving the second knot leaving the tail through the middle so I'll be able to come around and untie it easily if I need to make it longer or at the end of the season or whatever. And that's what I'm gonna do. All the way down.
All right, final, final treat here. One Mexico midget cherry tomato. Ready to eat. Tastes like sunshine. The always challenging for me shot. How do I get the plants and myself? Uh, so yeah, there we go. 65 tomato plants trellised. I'm just so excited about that. Look how cool it looks. Yeah. I should get tomatoes this year. Corn's looking good too. Okay, so my next step with these is to prune. Um, I'll do a video, I'll show you what I'm doing for that. Uh, and harvest and harvest and harvest. Lots of delicious tomatoes. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Bye. And these are the other uh, tomatoes, six, uh, six cherry tomatoes that I have up here. Um, some Mexico midgets and eagle hearts. Three and three. And I just did tomato cages for those. Looks like I need to tuck it in. There we go. And they need a little pruning too.